My dad died in 1998. After suffering for 12 years with cancer, my mom died just four years ago after suffering for many years with a variety of debilitating illnesses. Their deaths forever changed my life. Ironically, facing the death of our loved ones and working our way through the grief that follows helps us better appreciate the gift of life and the importance of faith. Because in death, there's simply no escape from the big questions of life. Why are we here? What happens to us after we die? These questions are front and center in this Sunday's Gospel that recounts probably the greatest of all Jesus' signs, the raising of his friend Lazarus from the dead. Now, it's not that raising someone from the dead is unprecedented in the Bible. It's not. There are several examples of that. What's so amazing about this sign is that Lazarus had been dead and buried for four days already when Jesus called him forth in the tomb. Even the dead man's sister, Mary, who had already professed her faith in Jesus as the Christ, protests when Jesus asked that the stone be rolled away. She said, Lord, surely there will be a stench after four days. But as impressive as this miracle is, still Lazarus got sick eventually and died again. Just like the man born blind, eventually his eyes would dim in death. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even if they die, will live. That's our hope. That's the whole point of this Sunday's gospel. But there's more. And I think actually for myself, it's the thing that touches my heart even more deeply. And this is Jesus' reaction to the death of his dear friend Lazarus. Jesus weeps. He weeps. Even knowing that in a few moments he's going to call Lazarus forth from the grave. That does not spare Jesus the anguish that affects every human heart when we experience the loss of death of our loved ones. Behold a vulnerable God, like us in all things but sin. The almighty God of the universe weeps. Jesus' heart is broken in sorrow at the death of his loved one. That is a Jesus who is united with all of us. He shares my pain. He bears your grief. He weeps with us in our hour of sorrow. What comfort is there in knowing that Jesus knows our hearts in the anguish of our struggles from the inside out? Please, pray with me. Jesus, you wept at the death of your friend Lazarus. Be with us in our hour of grief. Help us to believe that in death, life is only changed, not ended. Strengthen us in the belief that one day we too will be resurrected, forever reunited with our loved ones. And then there will be no more sickness, no more sadness, no more tears. For we will share with you, through you, in you, the gift of eternal life. Amen. Amen. Spirit of Jesus, open our hearts to live and to love the God.
Oh.